Good morning, everybody. It's been a long time since we've had one of these videos. My name's Sarah. I'm a full-time reseller on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, pretty much anywhere you can sell clothes, shoes, accessories online is for me. That's how I make my living now. So today I have a combined couple of hauls. I did find a new consignment shop that has some good pricing and some good items. And then I also went to a regular Goodwill lately. So show you what I picked up. If there's anything that you like, please make sure to message me and make sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. That does help me along the way as well. So let's get into it. The first, uh, it's a three piece haul and I got it at this new consignment shop. It's a lot closer to home. Don't have a whole lot of inventory there, but when you do find stuff, it seems to be pretty good. Paid $2.68 a piece for these three items. So first up is this little girl's pair of shoes, but this is by the brand Roper, which I've seen cowgirl boots by these. These were in really good condition. I don't know, so even if I was able to get $15, $20 for those, I would still make a profit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I found this top, kind of a peasant peplum top, and this is by Lori Goldstein, but the lounge edition size is a size large. So this could be cute with a pair of leggings or something. Then I was pretty excited to find these for $2.68. A pair of leggings. They're a little different on the bottom. I don't know the exact style of these yet. They are size eight and they are a pair of Lululemon leggings. Kind of this heathered grayish blue color. So for $2.68, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, Woo, fuzz, not a stain. Okay, then I went to a regular Goodwill, not the Goodwill outlet or the Goodwill bins. I bought 16 items. Two items were for myself. I had a meeting I had to dress up for, but I paid $4.62 for each of these items. So this I thought was great. It's this lacy dress with the nude underlay. And I hadn't heard of this brand before. It's a size medium, and the brand is Aqua. So, I don't know, for New Year's or something, I thought this would be nice. Or even just a night out. It looked good on a mannequin. Then I found this dress that was new with tags. It's a red little short number. Could be cute for Valentine's Day coming up. It is Saints and Secrets size small has like an open back on this and a tie waist but yeah i like the layered look to this and it was new with tags can't beat that then i found this cute little cropped very lightweight sweater kind of a thermal sweater it is a size small and it is by the brand free people comes the cat look out hopefully she doesn't knock the camera down then I found this which I thought was very cute for fall this is a Bowdoin piece I do probably need to tack this or just disclose that this needs fixed uh, this is a US size 10 it does have this cute zipper on the back but yeah I don't know what this collar is called but it's cute then I found this item and I'm really excited so it is a kids item I've been pretty picky about what I pick up for kids lately, but it's this very cute little cardigan. I guess it could be for a boy or a girl, but it's vintage Pendleton, a wool blazer size small. So that's really cute. It looks like Harry Potter. It looks like Harry Potter. All right, then this tunic was on sale. Yep, there's Rosie. Is it fine if I collect just for fun? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Then I found this plus size tunic top. This brand's been doing well for me. It's just Lane Bryant, but this one was one of the ones half off, but I still average it to four dollars. Size 26. Give me a minute. Can you look on the floor? Well, I know she knocked my stickers down. 
Then I found all these J. Jill pieces. These were all marked half off as well. So we got a J. Jill sweater, size extra large. J. Jill, I don't know, it only goes for like $15 to $20 for me, but that's okay. Then I found this kind of fall print dress. It is new with tags. So it's the brand Everly, which is sold at Lulu's apparently. So this was another item that was half off so that cut my cost a bit slow then we have this boutique brand hang on let me button them up and zip them up please work okay these are a size 11 pair of distressed raw hem jeans by the brand can can those do pretty well for me and we've got five more items because I did pick up a pair of boots. Then we have another J. Jill piece. Again, just a unique print. And it is a size extra large. Has some buttons here. And then this I thought was pretty. This is an extra large J. Jill. So again, the size kind of helped me pick this up too. And they were half off, so brought my cost of goods down. But I like the two-tone on this. It's very pretty. <clears throat> all extra larges all right then I went through the coats and I can feel this super heavy sweatshirt material and still had the pool tag on it it was a Lululemon jacket in a size 8 and that's this floral like full zip sweatshirt very heavy duty I'm hoping to get around $50 for that. And then I picked up two pairs of boots. So if you're looking for some cute booties, hit me up. I found this pair of dingo booties. These are in really good condition. Very cute. They are size seven and a half. They are leather. I mean, these don't even look like they've been worn. So seven and a half, very cute with a little buckle there, kind of a Western vibe. And then I did pay up for these, but I like the buckles on these. These are the brand Vintage Havana, the Jocelyn boot in a size 10. I like these, again, with kind of like the Western vibe. These ones have a little bit more wear, but not much. Not much, so. Another cute pair of booties. These are like an olive green, olive green color. So that's what I picked up. It's a lazy Sunday here. We're hoping to get the house clean, list some more items. I took a break for a couple of days. I've been trying to list like four or five items a day. And also relist. That's been helping get daily sales again for me. So again, if you like this kind of video, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks.